What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing the Q&A that I keep talking about and here's a baby picture of me. Now usually in Q&As I usually do around 15 to 20 questions but this time there's almost 80 questions and I'm going to try to do half of them which is 40. And I say this every Q&A but if I pronounce your name wrong I'm sorry. But let's just jump right into this and if I get any questions that I've already answered then I'm just going to skip over them. Who got you into skating? Already answered that. When did you start skating? Already answered that. Anthony De La Torre asks, how is skating so easy for you? It's definitely not. Yes, there is a few tricks that come a little easier for me, but pretty much I fall way more than I land tricks, and I'm pretty sure it's like that for every skater. Jad92 asks Denny's or IHOP, and honestly, I don't really care for either of them, and I'm not even sure if I've had Denny's before. If I have, I think I've only had it once. Active Skate asks, what kind of scooter do you ride? And I ride a red and silver Razor foldable scooter from Walmart. Trey Skates asks, how do your parents feel about you skateboarding? And my dad is 100% for it. And my mom, on the other hand, she supports it, like she'll drive me to contests, but there is times where it feels like she wishes I didn't skate, but pretty much she supports it. Pulses Skates 59 asks, how do you get sponsored and how does it feel to get sponsored? Well, if I knew the secret to getting sponsored, then I'd have way more sponsors, way bigger sponsors. Don't get me wrong, I love the sponsors I have, the local ones and the small ones. I love repping small companies. And how does it feel to be sponsored? It feels amazing. It feels just... Like, you're lucky, but I don't believe in luck. I say luck a lot, but I like to say I'm fortunate more than lucky. But it feels really good and keep skating and you'll get sponsored one day. Elia underscore 001 asks, how old were you when you got your first sponsor? And I want to say I was 13 or 14. And my first sponsor was Stay Lifted Co., which I've answered in one of my other Q&As. GTR.Jerry asks, will you do giveaways? And we're not really sure what you mean because I've had two giveaways in the past. I've had one on my YouTube channel and one on my Instagram. And I have another one coming, so I guess, yeah, I will do giveaways. The homie Kobal.KNR asks, can you tail whip? And yeah, I actually can tail whip. I actually tail whipped a six there at Fillmore Skate Park. No, I did not use the scooter. I just like riding people's scooters because it's honestly kind of fun. Underscore Kevin Westlow underscore asks, what's your goal for the future? And I don't really have one specific goal, but a few of them is I do want to travel because I've never been outside of California. I think the farthest I've been is like two and a half hours away from Fillmore. And another one is I want to do a lot of collabs with as many YouTubers as I can. And I don't mean that as in I feature their footage on my channel and they feature mine. I want to do an in-person video together with them. Pharmacy Sucks asks favorite spot in Fillmore. And honestly, there's not a lot of them, but you have to work with what you got. And I'd say my top two favorite are the middle school, Fillmore Middle School, and the high school, Fillmore High School. At the middle school, the main thing is the four block and the eight outside with the rail that you guys will see me skate. And at the high school, there's the tents there. Hyro M Skates asks, in all caps, would you rather stop drinking Sprite for the rest of your life or push Mongo the rest of your life? <sighs> and honestly, that's an easy one. You guys probably think I'm going to say push Mongo for the rest of my life just because I love Sprite so much. But actually, I would choose to give up Sprite for one, because soda is really bad for you. And two, pushing Mongo is kind of hard for me just because I didn't used to push Mongo when I first started skating. He also says in parentheses, shout my channel out and he didn't leave his channel username. So here's his Instagram. H-M-P-T-T-N Bruton asks, what was your reaction when you first got sponsored and are you doing any collab bids soon? Hashtag Brian and Braille. Something I haven't talked about on my channel before is my first sponsor was actually a website called blankdex.com and they made me think I was sponsored because I sent in footage and they replied back to me that I was on the team and they gave me a little code to get, I think it was 20 or 30% off anything in the store. But say I bought a pair of wheels or a deck or something on the website and then the shipping's 10 or $15 and then my sponsor code takes off 10 or $15. So it's pretty much like free shipping. And I think they did this so a lot more people could buy stuff off their website. But it wasn't an actual sponsorship because they would reply back the exact same thing to anyone. No matter what you send in, you could send a video of you shooting a three pointer or something and they would send the exact same thing like a copy and paste type of thing or a robot and they wouldn't actually watch your video they would just see if you wanted to get sponsored and they would say yeah just so they could give you that code so you could buy something off their website but at the time getting sponsored by them i was really really happy so my reaction was pretty much just excitement and am i doing any collab videos soon hashtag brian and braille like i said earlier i do want to collab with other youtubers but of course once i can drive and i get my new camera the two main youtubers that i want to collab with in the future are in fact braille and Luis Mora. Just something about Luis Mora. I love watching his videos. They're always entertaining. And to even just get to skate with him in general would be awesome. And to do a collab with him would just be even better. But I want to wait till I get my new camera to do any type of collab videos. If you have an Instagram, go to Luis Mora's profile and comment on his most recent post. Brian Arnett wants to skate with you. And who knows, maybe he'll notice me. Hank.Sprague Sprague asks, what is your favorite clothing company and how many sacks slash popsicles have happened to you? Well, my favorite clothing company would have to be Celeste, not because I ride for them or anything. And I want to say I've only had two straight up board 
to butt slash wiener incidents and both of them were a while ago the first one i had just started skating and i was airing out of a bowl and i didn't really know how to air out that good and the board went straight up and i came down on it and the next one i was doing a flat ground heel flip you guys know how that goes when you're learning heel flips and they just rock it and yeah it was in my friend's backyard and it was not a pleasant moment sam reed 13 asks what's your favorite kind of trucks and i've only skated ventures and thunders but I do want to try ace trucks and independent trucks. So I can't really answer your question 100% accurate, but I do really like thunder trucks. Trini Daddy SK asks favorite grind, and it would have to be a front smith grind or a backside crooked grind. Angel Dot Ruiz with four Z's asks favorite skate shoe. These ones. Ryan Herman 8 asks, what's the most stairs that you have kick flipped? And I think it's only about 10. And I don't mean only as in 10s a little bit, but I skated a lot of drops that are way bigger than 10 stairs, and I've kicked up them and done a few other tricks like late shove, but stairs wise, yeah, 10. He also asked, can you hard flip stairs and give me a shout out, and there's a shout out, and I actually can hard flip stairs, but I choose not to as of right now, because if you watch my intro, then you can see me hard flip the 6 stair in Fillmore and almost get a popsicle, so kind of scared from that day, but I'll start doing them again. It was starting to get a little dark, so I turned on my light, so hopefully it doesn't look worse, but Anthony.Skates underscore asks, can we skate? Yes, just hit me up. I'm always down to skate with new people, and it gets kind of boring skating here in Fillmore, so I want to travel more, like I said, but I can't drive, so however far the bus goes, that's how far I'll go for right now. F underscore LTE asks, Trump or Hillary, parentheses, if you could vote. <laughs> Ox Gnarly asks, any tips for late shows? Watch my trick tip, and if none of that helps you, Comment on that video the problem you're having because I am doing another late show trick tip and I would like to know what problem you're having so I can go over that problem and how to fix it. Ramirez.3 asks, do you plan on turning pro or would you like to be pro? And I'm pretty sure nobody plans to be pro. They're like, all right, I'm going to get on this company and I'm going to be on them for this many months and I'm going to leave them and I'm going to go to this company and I'm going to put out this many video parts and I'm going to talk to this guy to be pro for them, yada, 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 all that. But would I like to be pro? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's every skater's dream growing up skateboarding. Just thinking about being pro and just everyone knowing who you are. That's kind of like I said, every skater's dream. But no, I don't have any plans to go pro. <laughs> underscore Thrasher dot ALX underscore asks, will you be willing to go to Santa Paula Skate Park anytime? If you guys hear that during the rest of the video, that's my washing machine, so I apologize for that. I've been to Santa Paula Skate Park a lot, and I used to go way more than I do now. And I haven't been there in a cool minute, so I'll probably go out there sometime soon. I'll let you know. Diamond underscore 805 asks, how did you get into doing late fresh shoves? And I've answered this in one of my Q&As, but I told you guys the wrong story. I told you guys I was just messing around in my driveway, and I thought I invented a new trick because I didn't know the name for it. But I actually started doing them because of this video. <laughs> Late shove it. A late shove it is an ollie and then a shove it on the way down from the ollie. That trick tip was on a DVD I had with a bunch of other trick tips with Tony Hawk and Mike Valley. I don't think I ever learned late shoves at that time, but a little while later I did learn them, but it was all because of that video. Sam underscore Piniyahu. I totally just messed that up, but they ask, what's your dream trick? And my dream trick, I don't know if this has ever been done, but I want to do a late front shove, late flip. So like, I would call it a late front shove later flip because I have front shove late flips and I wanna just be able to do late shove late flip because I don't know, I think that would look really trippy and I don't think it's ever been done. So I need to find a perfect bank or kicker to do it out of or down something. Lexi Skates asks, if you could be a banana, what person would you want to eat you? This is a really weird question, but I almost feel like I've heard it before. If I was a banana, I would want a skateboarder or just any athlete to eat me so they could get energy and live and do what they do off of my existence. That probably sounded really weird, but on to the next question. Rachel J. Dalton asks, what inspires you in life and YouTube? Well, in YouTube, what inspires me is just the YouTubers that I watch, not just skateboarding YouTubers, but just any YouTubers that I watch that just keep putting out creative content on the daily. And who inspires me in life is just anyone who's constantly positive and just takes the negative things in their lives and turns them to a positive and just looks more at the positive things than the negative things in life and just keeps moving forward in their life. I don't know, I don't really have anyone specific for that, but anyone who just stays positive. Alistair Davis asks, who would you want to be best friends with? Luis Mora, Garrett Jenner, Lamont Holt, or Chris Chan? You can only choose one and why. 
it would without a doubt be Chris Chan, just because the vibe that his videos put off to me just makes me feel like I'm already one of his friends. From his videos, you can tell that he doesn't really care what anyone thinks of him. He's just doing his own thing, being him, and just staying positive and putting out amazing content. And he's also one of the funniest YouTubers that I watch, so hanging out with him, I'd probably never stop laughing. All right, guys, I definitely don't think that was 40 questions. What about the clickbait? The... What? What about the clickbait? Oh. You guys can get some of my clickbait stickers on my online store. No, no, Lincoln. no. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The whole reason you titled this video what you titled it. Oh, that's right. One more question, guys. Brandon Fisher asks, what do you think about scooter riders? And this is a really controversial topic, so here's my honest opinion. Scooter riders at the skate park can get in the way, but so can skaters. I don't mind a few scooters at the skate park, but what I don't like is when their parents are just sitting in the car or nowhere around the skate park, and they're not even paying attention to their kid because that puts their kid in danger to get hit by us skaters or get in the way. And then when they do get hit, the parents usually blame the skaters. Now this isn't always the case. The other day when I was in Peru before filming the Who Can Land It First with Angel, I was doing Switch Barrel Hill and he was doing Barrel Hill. A scooter rider was there in the park and his mom came in the skate park with him and she was sitting down watching his every move, making sure he was all right and didn't get in the way. And the kid was super nice. Every time I would fall, he would ask you all right and I would say yeah. So those are the kind of scooters that I do like. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I get a little more mad when a scooter gets in my way than if a skater gets in my way. And this is mainly just because of the stereotype that scooters have of being snakes. But there's good scooters and there's bad scooters, just like there's bad skaters and there's good skaters. And I've had scooters my age at the skate park just being annoying, intentionally trying to hit my camera, and they're just honestly making it worse on themselves. Scooter riders already have it pretty bad as it is. But at the end of the day, everyone goes to the skate park to just try and have fun, whether you're on a skateboard, roller skates, a scooter, or a bike. So my opinion on scooter riders themselves, for me, it all comes down to personality and how they act. But for scootering itself, like the sport, or whatever you want to call it, it's a little fun, but skateboarding's better. That's just my opinion though. So that is the end of this video. Thank you guys all for your comments. Follow me on Instagram at brian.net to know the next time I'm doing a Q&A because I always post a picture asking for your guys' questions at least five days in advance. And within the next couple of months, I'm trying to get a new camera, a fisheye lens, and a mic. It would make my videos so much better. You can help me get closer to getting those things by buying my stickers on my online store. The link is in the description. They are 20 for $5. Now, I'm not begging you guys or forcing you to go buy my stickers, but it does help and shows that you support me and want me to make better videos. And it's like a win-win. You guys get a bunch of stickers and I get that much closer to getting a new camera. So thank you guys for watching and staying till the end. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and subscribe for videos every other day. And tell me in the comments if you like my new outro that's about to come up in a couple seconds. See you in two days.